another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make DIY slime. I have a little piece right here. Um, it does stick to your fingers a little bit, but remember, slime does stick to slime. So if it gets stuck on your finger, for example, I'll put it on my finger, and you can't get it off, you just roll it off. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so your first ingredient is going to be a borax. Um, most people don't have this in your house, but you can get it at basically any store. So just go out to the store and you can get it. It's a pretty easy ingredient to find. Second thing you're going to need is a me measuring cups. The one that you'll need is uh, one cup. That is a measuring cup. That is uh, <laughs> one cup. Um... Yeah, so the next ingredient is going to be white glue. I'm going to be using Elmer's school glue. It is non-toxic, so it is safe for if kids go around it or anything. Um, the third ingredient is going to be warm water. And the fourth ingredient is going to be two bowls. Okay, so later on in the video, I will upgrade into one bigger one. The one of the yeah, another ingredient you're going to need is a half teaspoon measuring unit, I guess you could say. And food coloring is also an option. So the first thing you're going to do is put one cup of warm water into your first bowl or one of your two bowls. Okay, so the second thing you're going to want to do is take your half teaspoon measuring unit. That is, that's what I'm going to call it. You're going to want to take half a teaspoon of the borax. And as you can see, it looks like a little grains. You're going to put that into your one cup of warm water. And then you're just going to want to stir that up really well and make sure all the borax is dissolved. As you can see this, I mixed it for a pretty long time. <laughs> um, so next thing you're going to want to do is unscrew your white glue. And you're going to want to put it in a separate bowl. And you want to make sure you get almost everything out. Try to get um, all the glue out as much as you can, at least so the measurements are almost exact. They should be close to exact or hopefully exact. Okay, so the next thing I want to, want to do is take some more warm water and fill up your empty glue container all the way full. So there will be a one-to-one -one ratio where your glue and your water will be the same amount. Then you're just going to want to take that water, mix it in with the glue that you poured in earlier and then you're just going to want to mix that up really well make sure the glue gets dissolved i mean the water gets dissolved into the uh, glue okay so here this is where food coloring is optional i did use red food coloring it turned out pink because obviously the glue is white and when white mixes with the color it makes it the lighter version, so I got pink instead of red. <laughs> um, so you're just going to want to mix that really well until it's completely dissolved. And this is where I upgraded into a bigger bowl. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take all, I mean, your water, your food coloring, and your glue. Put that into the bowl. I had to mix it up a little more because it was a little chunky. There's a small bowl to mix in it, and I didn't want any of it to go like fall out of the uh, the small bowl <laughs> um and so what you're gonna do is you want to take your borax in your water concoction and pour that slowly little amounts at a time into where your glue in your water was
and you just want to remember to put little amounts at a time. Do not pour the whole thing in at once because you might over pour and then the um the slime becomes it it messes up. Just trust me. Um so here I poured in a little more because I knew that I needed a little more. Eventually I just I figured, alright, we're gonna need the whole thing, so I just dumped it in because I had already used it all. Now it still looks liquidy, but you're just going to take your hands, get in there, mix it up, just grab it and start taking the wetness away, kind of. Um, and you want to make it like a dry substance, kind of, sort of. Um, but I realized it was a little too wet, so I went and I and I got some uh, another bottle of white glue because I saw that it was a little too wet. Um, you don't want your slime too wet because it will be sticky, and mine ended up being sticky in the end. But hey, it's it's not slime if it's not sticky, you know what I mean? So I added more glue, and I just mixed it in there. Just mix it up real well with your hands. Uh, as you do this, the wetness will kind of, like, stick to your hands, evaporate. Kind of, it goes away. It's weird. And then it won't be on your hands anymore. So it actually is pretty cool. But, yeah. So you're just going to, like I said, you're just going to want to mix it up really, really well with your hands. Make sure the, that white, that extra glue, if you add an extra, um, really works its way in there and as you can see it is very very sticky it's sticking to my hands a lot and a uh, quick disclaimer to get the slime off of your hands or any other part that you might have got it on like your leg or something um you want to just roll it off your fingers kind of grab it like as you can see that i've been doing or you can just um, slime stick to slime if you didn't know that. So uh, you're just going to use other slime and stick it to the slime on your hands or wherever. The slime is that it can't come off. I'm saying slime so many times. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Um, but, yeah. So, like I said, this is probably, like, the fourth time I've said it. And, like I've said, but... Um, you're really just going to want to mix it in really well with your hands. And I accidentally hit my tripod. Great going, Emily. Um, but you're just going to want to really mix it in there with your hands. Get it nice and dry. And, yeah, you have your slime. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of like my first advanced, more advanced DIY. I've been trying to put more... Um, just cool stuff into my videos. If you saw my soccer challenge I posted on Thursday. Um, but yeah, like always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a like. We are growing the M squad to be big and strong. Getting, uh, getting bigger and bigger every day. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for next week's two videos, guys. Remember, I upload two times every week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.